Welcome back. So second half of the week, there's a whole bunch of preparation going on to get a bunch of different things in uh, primer, or at least with the second round of primer. So uh, what's going on here is I'm actually masking up the uh, fuselage here, so we can uh, prime that next week. Still needs uh, some sanding and some more fill work and things like that, but you'll see that coming up. But uh, it's better to get things masked up ahead of time. Um, instead of having to, you know, do it all at the last minute before uh, priming. So, uh, yeah, the mask around the windows, the doors I'd already done. Um, I had to do around the engine compartment and uh, baggage doors and stuff are going to come later. And in the meantime, uh, we've got our, our makeshift oven put together again and time to post-cure the uh, foreplane so that you can see got it fired up set for 80 degrees it's just warming up 35 degrees at celsius well, and so we're going to bake that thing for uh, 18 hours and a little bit more progress on uh, getting the fuselage all masked up there so you've got the front window done and uh, the other windows done as well and getting ready to do some more sanding on that and jeff's been busy working on the wings on the lower surfaces there Needed quite a bit of work, um, partly because of the post cure and partly because of the rivets to hold the skin on there. And what I'm doing here is just uh, shaping up some foam core, and these uh, six different pieces that are going to go in the winglets there to provide a bit of extra structure where the rudder um, hinges are going to attach. And this is what the layup looks like. So you can see just sort of the tapered core in behind there, and the layup of uh, two medium plies in there holding those in place. So three of those, uh, one for each of the hinges, and it just gives a much uh, stronger structure there for the hinges to bolt to. And again, this is something that uh, you know was an art. Well, it wasn't it wasn't an afterthought for Jeff. He knew it was going to exist, but I didn't really realize it was going to happen uh, in. Um, the original layup otherwise I would have thought about putting that in there um, but when we laid up those parts of the skins and so here's the uh, wing and uh, one of the wings so Jeff's making progress on that and I uh, just got some more fill there in some of the low spots and likewise on this one so they're gonna be uh, a little while but next week we'll definitely be getting those uh, uh, primed up and the oven is now up to temperature and been running for a little while and if I can remember which buttons to press on this little controller I'll show you uh, how many minutes it's been running that's actually not the right one so that just sh shows you, you can actually set um, steps in this controller for how many minutes and at what temperature and so uh, like there's number step number one 80 degrees celsius um, and you know ultimately it just times back out and goes back to the main display so that's what it is there. it's currently 77 set for 80 and so there's 900 minutes and it's at 192 minutes so far so it'd be running for three hours this is sort of towards the end of the day because we started at around about three this is at about six o'clock and it's gonna run for another 12 hours and now we're on to the morning so uh, first thing I'm going to do here is uh, work on sanding that little repair that was on the um, edge of the door the nose door opening so you know I put um, a couple of plies on the outside and a couple of plies on the inside just to sort of rebuild that that lip and so the goal now is to just basically sand on it and uh, until it's sort of back fair again and it should end up with a nice uh, finish and not have to do much but it in, in the end I actually have had to trim it because it ended up making it thick enough um, that it just wouldn't sort of sand back and sort of disappear back to the normal edge so it took me a little bit of time to get it going but at least that's sorted out now and you'll see that a little bit later and uh, Jeff's gone and put the uh, micro on the parachute strap covers there on the roof so that just needs a guide coat uh, sprayed on there and um, it can get sanded and the four plane is all done so got the oven open up here and so it's sitting in there still quite warm in there because we didn't put any insulation on the floor this time so the concrete um, just had a lot of heat still in it 
so you walked in there uh, even though it had been off for quite a while still a lot of heat radiating out of that floor uh, but anyway it all came out well and so my next job here was to put um, a couple of plies uh, layups there on that transition from the wing strake to the fuselage on the upper side and on the lower side because if you recall um, the strakes there were kind of just bonded on to the outside skin um, there was a little L channel bracket sort of underneath that top surface that you're looking at there and on the bottom there was one sort of integrated into the lower skin of the strake so it was just kind of only bonded on on one side and so Mark wanted it um, to be bonded on on both sides so it was much stronger so anyway this is just doing that layup on there two different plies of our medium weight carbon fiber and uh, just trying to do it as neat and tidy as possible so uh, when Jeff comes back to uh, lay micro on there he doesn't have to do very much at all it's just you know just filling the little irregularities in the layup uh, but again that's sort of the key to doing these layups is to make sure that when you put the peel ply down you get it as smooth as possible and you make sure that the resin um, feathers out uh, on the sides so you don't get sort of the thick step of uh, carbon fiber and the other thing I do here is I put the the first layer on I make it a little bit narrower um, and then the second layer is a little bit wider so that way you're sort of tapering your your layup um, so you don't sort of end up with you know going from nothing to two plies um, directly so you go you know from nothing to one ply and then a little bit further in it goes to two plies and then back to one ply and then back to nothing so it just makes a much uh, smoother transition there but you know you've seen um, us doing all these layups and me doing a bunch of layups recently so um, it's nothing different than that really and a lot of these layups are kind of cool because they're pretty quick and uh, not really complicated so actually kind of enjoying doing those a little bit um, certainly more enjoyable than sanding and speaking of sanding here's Jeff working on the doors um, getting those sort of towards their next little round of fill and uh, yeah good old doors <laughs> but uh, they, they're gonna look really good when they're done he's putting in the time and uh, there's a the four plane and uh, Devon's job now is to do a little layup there again a couple of plies over where the seam is where the the upper and lower skins um, had that joggle and were bonded together uh, with the high sole so he's got a, just a little narrow like one inch wide um, bit of carbon fiber there that he's laying uh, in that seam and there's a kind of like a joggle that we put in there especially for that so uh, you don't really have to fare that in and uh, here's the um, results of my little work there so got the upper and lower done on that side and the upper done over here and the lower done there on the front but I still have to do the last little bit here at the back where uh, you know just sort of in front of the baggage doors there and I had to actually build up a, a couple of pieces there and uh, here's Jeff uh, got the uh, doors again now with the next set of uh, guide coat on there ready for some more sanding and likewise um, I've got the uh, four plane there just with some guide coat on there I think that's just going to get a quick sanding it doesn't need too much work in that because those skins really haven't had any, anything done to them there on the upper surface it's the lower ones that had a bunch of work done and that other things that uh, Devon's working on right now is these uh, wing fences there for the outboard wings getting those f uh, finished prepped for priming and uh, here's the results of my work again with the peel ply taken off so this is the next day and getting the engine compartment um, sort of prepped for painting there with a little bit of masking off and there's that nose hatch there I made these little patches there where those little add-ons were and there's you can see where I've that's been done and Jeff's already sort of put a little bit of micro in there so things are coming along with the fuselage there not too much more to do and there's the uh, rudder um, sort of mount point there on the winglet so there's that layup 
in there that I did now with the peel ply off and I've gone and trimmed off the rough edges and that so we've got a, a nice solid mounting point now to mount those hinges and again you've seen these and you're going to keep seeing these until they're all done but <laughs> Jeff's been spending a lot of time getting those wings underway and here I am sanding underneath so this is a join um, from the tail end of the fuselage to where it goes out to the first part of the uh, engine cowling well it's kind of really the baggage compartment and again this was a part that wasn't we weren't really sure how this was going to come together so this join is there um, purely because of a change in the design um, I was going to have it like one cowling that just sort of extended all the way out but we ended up splitting the cowling into two and then bonding this first section on and that made everything with respect to the engine compartment and the, the engine mount points much stronger and so now uh, this was a job <laughs> sanding on the roof so trying to get it nice and uh, smooth and if you've ever done or had anything to do with roofs of cars and stuff that's the piece that really uh, shows up any imperfections of you know if there's any sort of wobbles or flows or anything like that that's going on um, you know you're going to see it in the roof and as you can see there are little squares showing up so again when we post cured it um, because of the little bit of shrinkage that we got out of everything you can see the sort of slight marks coming out from the foam and there's Jeff working on the doors again and Devin working on the four plane so the three of us are keeping pretty busy these days with getting everything prepped for priming. And now I'm on the roof because uh, it was much easier. Just got my knees on a little piece of foam there so I'm not sort of, you know, putting dents in the roof. And working away there. Man, that was hard work today, getting that done. So, oh, I wish I could sand that fast. <laughs> so anyway, it took me, I don't know, couple of hours it seemed it seemed like a couple of hours maybe it was an hour and a half or something to do that whole roof and uh, Jeff still needs to get on there and just make sure everything's good so uh, but yeah I did the whole thing not just the parachute straps but the whole roof and uh, you know took out those imperfections that were there because of the post curing because of the shrinkage that we had and so yeah this is uh, what it looks like there with the wings either side and the fuselage in the background and everything getting really close to that time where you know we can actually start um, spraying some primer and uh, in the meantime uh, another little job here on the baggage doors so I got my hinges all sorted out um, and just five minutes in I finally had some time to actually bond them into place so I'm just doing a quick little layup um, of a couple of plies around the hinges and then uh, peel plying out so this is just to finish off because I've already done both of them so baggage doors now all they need is uh, for me to put the key locks in there and they're all done and fitted so uh, next week with all the other sanding and priming and stuff we're going to do hopefully i have time to uh, sort out the uh, retraction mechanism for the gear doors for nose and main gear doors uh, it's got it underway but i just haven't done it yet and finally uh yeah jeff's got these uh wings further along there in the doors further along they're all, they're almost ready um to have the uh the little strake extensions bonded on and they'll be ready to have primer sprayed on them so yeah we're getting there there's the roof after all the work i spent on that looking pretty good a couple of spots there still need a little bit more fill before they can get done and you see jeff's gone and put the last coat of uh, micro there on those seams and he's just working there as you can see underneath doing those other bits where I did the carbon layups on there so uh, Monday we can get on and um, do all sand those bits there that he's fixing right now and then uh, hopefully we'll be spraying primer on Monday afternoon on the fuselage so that's exciting so all of a sudden it'll look a whole lot different Anyway, that's our update for this week, and uh, thanks again for tuning in, and uh, catch up again on Tuesday and uh, see how things are going.